back. Um, so today we're doing our very first Pinterest meal. Um, I, geez, where have I seen this? I've seen this everywhere. I think I had some friends on Facebook do it. Um, I know in college, I think I saw someone who like shared a dorm with a friend of mine do it, but we're gonna be making those uh, spaghetti noodles cooked inside of hot dogs. So first go ahead and start filling up your water and then we can talk later because uh, boiling the water is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna put in about, geez, what is that? Maybe three or so cups of water, but I don't know, fill it up. Oh, I need my thing. Forgot to get that out earlier. Alright, so we've got our water. I'm going to put it on high for now and just kind of let it do its thing. So I have this really cool pot. I don't I think I ended up using it on the fettuccine episode, but I don't know, maybe I did. But we've got like this thing and you screw it on, the, you don't even screw it, you just place it on the top and then it strains it for you so you don't need a colander. I freaking love it. So I've got my little thing out and I don't know where to put it. I guess I'll put it here. So um, I got it like, I don't know, inspired to do a Pinterest theme month because um, I think it was my mom actually, or maybe a friend of mine that I was talking to, they're like, oh, you should do themes on your show. And I was like, yeah, for sure. So I was thinking more like, oh, one month I'll do like only Italian cuisine or one month I'll do um, like a secret recipe or one month I'll do like kind of chopped theme, like what's in my kitchen, let's make a meal. Um, and they were like, no, you should do something more topical. And I was like, like what? And they're like, like Pinterest. And I was like, yeah, okay, we can do that. But upon researching Pinterest recipes, I found out most of them are one of those things that you either like start it and then forget about it and ignore it and never touch it again until it's done like five, six hours later, mostly crock pot things or like put it in your freezer to chill. Or they're things that are really gross and <laughs> weird. Um, and this, I think I would have been way more into like three or four years ago when I'm frantically studying for a final back in college, but now that I like have time to make real food, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet about poking spaghetti noodles through hot dogs, but um, the original recipe, and I'll, I'll post the original link um, that I found at least. I don't know if it's the actual original link, but it's someone's link to spaghetti hot dogs. Um, I'll be able to post that on all the Facebook things. I probably should have done that before the show, but eh, whatever. It'll be in the description of the video too. Um, but anyway, most of them just use like a canned Prego sauce, and I think that's gross. Um, so we're gonna do like a good sauce. We're gonna do like a flash version of my family's Italian sauce. Um, our spaghetti sauce takes like all day to make. So when I say flash version, I mean, we're gonna throw it together. And I have done this before and it tastes basically the same. The only thing that you're missing is kind of the, the like toasted nutty nuance of it. But other than that, as long as you've got the right ingredients, which we do, um, it'll taste fine. It'll taste really, really good. And you can make it all within our like 30, 45 fish minutes time frame. So let's go ahead and get our um, hot dogs prepped. Uh, just, I guess, take your hot dogs and let's chop them up. I'm gonna do about half inch uh, slices. So about yay big. Can you guys see that from far away? Probably not. It's gonna be about that big. Um, Cause that's kind of what it looked like in the picture and Pinterest is all visual stuff. So go ahead and cut up your hot dogs. I'm sorry, hot dogs. You know, I think three might, no, cause it's me and Josh. I'll do the whole, I'll do the whole pack, whatever. Cut them all up. Oop. Saved it. <laughs> um, okay, so now that you've cut up your hot dogs, I guess we're just gonna start poking noodles through, so. Go ahead and do that. Now I'm using, um, oh, this feels so weird. I'm using uh, angel hair noodles 
because I like angel hair needles a little bit more. They cook faster and they don't tend to get like as starchy and slimy as other types of needles do. Um, so let's just, let's see how this do. I'm so sorry, hot dogs. I don't mean to be stabbing you like this. You never did anybody wrong. Wow, this prep time is gonna take way more than I thought if we have to like hand feed each noodle through these hot dog bits. Well, I don't know what I'm in for. This is why I should play music on my show, but I'm afraid of copyright rules. Actually, okay, so I guess feel free to say this in the comments. Is there someone in the comments? Oh, no, sorry, it says that the chat's disconnected for right now, so for anybody watching, sorry. Um, anyway, other people who like Twitch stream maybe could answer this question for me, but I'd love to know what the copyright rules are for music because I really want to have music on the show, but I also don't want to get slammed by YouTube's lawyers uh, because that would be terrible. Ooh, hey, this is maybe not a good idea. I don't know, let's try it. I just kind of squished them all together. I think I'm breaking the noodles. Oh no. Oh, that doesn't look right. No, okay, bad idea. Don't do that. Don't just squish them together. Anyway, so I really love to have music on the show, but I don't want to, like, get my butt sued. Okay, this one I think is just not going to end up going the right way. That's fine. Close enough. Close enough. It's like those Pinterest nailed it memes. I don't think I did. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again with a different one. Um... Anyway, because I want to be able to, like, fill time by playing some music. Because whenever I cook at home, like, just for dinner, I'll play music and, like, I'll dance around the kitchen with Pixel or with Josh or, I don't know, something. So I'd like it to be less dead and quiet on the show when I'm concentrating on something. We can at least have, like, some kind of sound in the background. Um, I think this method's gonna work better. No, I broke it. Ooh, sorry. All right, now then let's get another one and feed it just all the way through. Hey, hey, yeah, this is a way smarter method. I should have done this from the beginning. Oh, no. Pinterest things just seem so, like, unnecessary. Like, this is so much just to put hot dogs in pasta. Oh my god. You guys can't see it because you're too far away, but this is a nightmare. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Pixel's so interesting because she freaking loves hot dogs. So, I don't think I'm doing this the best way. I assumed it would be a lot easier than this actually is. I am breaking all of these pasta noodles. Do you see that? This is a nightmare! It's okay, whatever. The sauce is going to taste good. Even if this looks ugly, it's going to taste good. So, one thing, maybe I should have looked at the picture a little bit more. They didn't use angel hair pasta, and I think now I know why they didn't use angel hair pasta, because this is freaking impossible to get all the way through without snapping them. Um, one lady I saw when I was researching this recipe used... Um, like thick cut it wasn't like good italian sauce oh my god if i break one more i'm gonna lose my mind um it wasn't like thick cut italian sausage but it was italian sausage and i think in the comments on that it was like yeah the italian sausage tastes much better than a hot dog which yeah obviously um but you know what the original recipe for this said hot dogs so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do hot dogs you know what what if i do them two at a time Let's try that. Might make them a little bit more structurally sound. And nope, I was wrong. I was wrong about that. It's okay, we're all learning. Oh geez. So I also wanted to try making a Pinterest drink, but some friends of mine were having a going away party last night and I didn't drink that much at that party, but I did drink enough to give myself a headache for today. And I was like, maybe let's not do because like all of the Pinterest drinks are all insanely alcoholic, like enough to kill a frat boy. 
And so I was like, maybe how about let's not do that. So instead, on the um, on the ingredients list, if you guys got that from the Facebook page, uh, we're just gonna be doing like peach Arnold Palmers because that sounds so tasty right now, and not like it'll give me a headache because these freaking pasta hot dogs are already making me feel like an insane person. This is much more effort than... You know what? I think that's what it is about Pinterest. Is that Pinterest is just... It's a lot of effort for something that, like, think smarter, not harder, you know? Alright, my water's getting hot, so I'm just gonna dump these poor things in there. Uh, they're only gonna cook for about seven-ish minutes at a time because it's angel hair pasta, but if you're working with larger... Oh, I need to get a bowl for that. Uh, if you're working with larger pasta noodles, it'll probably be 10 to 12 minutes each. I'm just going to kind of watch them until they look cooked. What did I do to myself? Why, why did I pick Pinterest for my first theme? The, the hot dog bits. It's just, you're just cooking spaghetti noodles in hot dog water. That's what it is. That's all it is. So if I've got any viewers, I'm gonna lose my mind. If I've got any viewers in New York, uh, you can just take some spaghetti and throw it in one of those like cart hot dog guys little water thing. That's kind of basically what this is. All right, let's try again. Let's try and make this like a success. Maximum effort. getting there. I don't even smell the like starch from the pasta. The only thing I can smell right now is boiling hot dogs. <laughs> Why did I do this? Okay, good enough. If you have children with small hands and you're watching this, make them do this. That might go over better for you because I think my fingers are too big and I am just destroying these poor pasta noodles. You didn't deserve this. Pasta. You should have been in a linguine or something. Someone's chicken parmesan. I'm so sorry. I'm sticking you into hot dogs. Ugh. All right. Okay. Hey. So beat it from the top. Lesson learned. Oh, shit. Until we get to the last one, and then it breaks. No. No. One complete noodle. <laughs> I don't even have a timer on these. I guess I'm just gonna eyeball them. Cause that's worked well in the past before. All right, let's keep trying. And you know what? When I run out of hot dogs and I'm just left with these poor, poor pasta noodles, I think maybe I'm just gonna cook the rest of the pasta noodles like normal. So we'll have these weird like spaghetti hot dog monsters in with like real actual spaghetti. <laughs> okay. Three at a time, let's try. Nope. No, bad idea. Um, so, I was telling, I think I was telling this to Josh last night when we were coming home from my friend's going away party, which Jerry and Steven, if you guys are watching, I'm gonna miss you. Please don't move. Who will I cook with, Jerry? Anyway, um, I am messing this up so badly. Um, anyway, I was telling Josh that like back in college to get me through those late night study sessions in the library, I would get the, hey, Pixel, where are you going? You don't need to go there. Um, I would get those, I would get those like mac and cheese cups that you microwaved and I'd stick them in the microwave and then I'd go downstairs to where the uh, like the snack bar area was because that's how the library was structured because they're smart and they know how college kids do. Um, I still have no idea if this is enough time or not. Oh wait, that one looks done. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, it looks fine I guess. Um, Anyway, so I would get those mac and cheese bowls and I would get um, 
hot dogs from downstairs, and I would make like those Velveeta, like in the microwave things, and um, and that would be my study snack. And like I was saying, back in college, this I probably would have loved. I would have been all about it. I would have been like, yes, let's do it. Hot dogs and spaghetti. Why did no one think about this sooner? But as like a real actual adult now who is trying to recreate this monster of a dish, now I know it was some poor college student who came up with this and was like, it's a time saver. You're going to get your proteins and your starches all in one place. And it's a just a nightmare. Oh my God. So what I'm going to do for my patrons on Patreon, thanks you guys for watching the show um, and supporting me. Uh, I'm going to do like a palatable version of this. I'm probably even going to make my own pasta noodles because I got, I got really cool pasta stuff for Christmas from my boyfriend and his wonderful family. Um, so I think, yeah, I think for my patrons, we're going to make this good and like <laughs> not this nightmare prep time that, oh my God, this is making me a crazy person. Actually, that one didn't turn out so bad. I think I'm getting the hang of it. The more, the more we do it, the less absolutely terrifying it is. I don't know what to do with these little guys. I guess I'm just gonna stick them in. All the little broken pieces go into one hot dog. It'll be one bite. Maybe Pixel will get that, I don't know. So speaking of college, I have some friends and some family who all graduated um, either today or a few days ago or sometime this week. So I just want to say a quick shout out to all my buddies and all my family members. So to Kenneth and Delaney, hey guys, um, congratulations on graduating. Have fun being a real actual adult. It's a lot scarier than people tell you. It's fun because you can like actually have cake for dinner if you wanted, but it's also scary because bills are a thing and student loan is a lot. But uh, anyway, congratulations to you guys. My cousins graduated from a and uh, They walked the stage yesterday, I think. Um, and then congratulations to all of my alumni roadrunners. Uh, I know my friend Sue walked the stage this morning. So congratulations, Sue, if you're watching. Super proud of you. And all the other college people who are trying to make it who graduated. Congratulations, you guys. I know this is a big, big deal and people don't seem to make it as big of a deal as, as it is. So good job. Okay, these look like little freaking like worms in a, whatever, <laughs> let's do it. I guess if you're working like me and going a little bit slower, just pull them out as they come. That seems to be what's working best for me. Oh, hey, uh, dang it, I got so excited. I thought I didn't mess that one up, but I did. I did mess it up. I'm gonna just make you another weird hot dog. This is gonna be the ugliest thing I've ever cooked, I think. Yeah, it's not gonna be a pretty dish, but it will be technically food. The pasta sauce will make it taste good. Which we're gonna get to that in just a hot minute. Cause I am almost done prepping these stupid little hot dogs. So next week, we're not gonna make as dumb of a Pinterest thing. I think we're gonna be doing chicken nuggets next week. And by we, I mean Josh and I are going to be doing chicken nuggets next week because, um, funny story, uh, any of his friends who are watching will know this. I guess any of my friends too, because it was on everyone's Facebook. Um, he had made this one post this one time when he was uh, away for work and he'd like gotten chicken nuggets or something from McDonald's. And he was like, I love chicken nuggets. And Facebook glitched and kept on reposting I love chicken nuggets like a thousand times. 
it was crazy. It took up like everyone's news feed. All they saw was Josh sale of chicken nuggets every single day. So I got him this shirt for our anniversary that says Nugs Not Drugs and he loves it. And he posted it on Facebook and apparently everyone really, really likes it. So next week we're going to try and tackle Pinterest chicken nuggets. I don't know if those are cooked all the way. I don't know. They look kind of cooked all the way. We're going to keep on cooking them in the sauce anyway. So I don't know. Give them a couple more minutes. Um, so we're going to be tackling Pinterest chicken nuggets next week and see how that goes. Um, okay, so let's start in the sauce. We're going to get some olive oil in our saucepan, get it going on a medium heat. Really don't need that much because there's going to be a lot of moisture there. And then get one clove of garlic. We're going to smash that up and um, get that toasting. I guess I needed more hot dogs because this did not make as much as I thought. Whatever, it's fine. All right, my cloves are kind of small, so I'm going to be doing a clove and a half. Go ahead, just like always, smash it, get the skin off. Cut it up, and we're going to stick it in our saucepan. Because guess what? We're making sauce. Yeah, Pixel? I know you can't have the sauce, though, honey, because it's got garlic in it. And garlic is bad for the babies. All right, get your garlic in there. So got another bit to do. Now, the key to making a good pasta sauce, especially if you're doing it quickly like this and not gonna let it sit on the stove all day, because um, typically if I'm gonna make pasta, I'm gonna make it in a big old, oh shoot. No! Don't go too much. Don't turn a mush. Okay, I think these are done. Um, so the key to getting a good pasta sauce if you're doing it quickly, is um, layering your ingredients. We don't want to just throw everything in the pan and heat it up. It won't, it won't have the same flavor profile as if we were to do it one at a time, which is why we're doing the garlic first. Okay, that's, they're in, I guess. Uh, I'm going to throw just a little bit more noodles in here. Let those cook up for a minute. Um, so we're always going to start by toasting our garlic. Actually, that might be enough. I don't think I need the other half clove. And you want to toast it until it starts to get very aromatic. Not brown. You don't want to burn it. So once you can start getting fragrant, that was the word. Um, once it starts getting fragrant, then we'll start adding in other things. I'm going to take that temperature down just a bit. So typically whenever you cook pasta noodles, you want to put about um, a teaspoon of salt in the water because it, it helps them cook, um, keeps the flavor, helps break down the starches and stuff. But since the hot dogs are already so salty, I didn't do that because again, essentially we're just making spaghetti in hot dog water. Uh, so that's why. That's why I didn't add any salt. If anyone's watching and they're like, why did you just put pasta noodles in and no salt? That's all right, so I'm starting to smell my garlic. I'm going to get my tomato paste. And we're going to use the whole can. We're going to put that just there for now. The tomato paste, one, is more concentrated, nice, delicious tomatoes. But two, will help keep the sauce at a nice consistency. also between using my spoon that you guys just saw and a whisk because we want it to all get in nice and incorporated together. So now I'm going to take my tomato puree. Um, I 
prefer to use unseasoned purees because I like to make it taste the way I want it to taste. I'm going to go ahead and add in about half of this can. And place it over here so you don't get your countertop stained. And now incorporate all of it together. Right, here's where I'm going to grab this. Make sure I'm breaking up. Okay, and I think my other pasta noodles are done by now. Yep, they sure are. We're just gonna lay them in here and set them aside. Probably gonna toss them in a little bit of olive oil just to make sure they don't stick. But other than that, we're just gonna kind of leave them there till the sauce is done, because we're going to finish cooking them up in our sauce. So kill the meat on water. A little bit of olive oil in here. And then no, don't burn. All right, we're gonna let the tomatoes and the garlic become friends for a second. Get this all tossed in oil so that it doesn't get sticky and mushy. That's probably enough for two people. No, actually, I think I'm gonna do some more pasta noodles. It is me and Josh. Get those guys in there. All right, I'm gonna bring this down to a low heat. We just want it simmering. We don't want it super, super hot. So first, uh, first, a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper to paste. Oh wait, I'm not gonna kill the heat on that just yet because I'm still cooking in it. because apparently there's a second top on this. Um, I'm using whiskey because it gives it kind of more of a like woody taste, which I think will go well with hot dogs. Because um, you think hot dogs, you think outside, you think camping, you think 4th of July, you think wood stove. So I'm using whiskey. Uh, red wine is also acceptable. White wine's a little bit too sweet. You want something kind of bitter. to let that whiskey kind of cook off a bit. I'm going to save these pork pork noodles from their hot dog water fate. If it bubbles a bit, that's okay. Uh, just stir it occasionally, make sure it doesn't burn. Ow, did you just pop me?
It reminds me of the uh, that scene from The Labyrinth, the one from like, gosh, I'm aging myself saying this. Um, the one with David Bowie in it, the the bog of eternal stench, the bubbling noises, the way that looks. Um, I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. Last of my precious, precious olive oil. Okay, so tomatoes, if you guys didn't know this, are insanely acidic. So we, ow, jeez, why are you popping so much? It's because I'm not stirring you. I'm neglecting you, I'm very sorry. It's not always about you, sauce. There's other things here in the kitchen. Okay, well, to prevent that from happening again, let's go ahead and put a lid on it. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know this, tomatoes are incredibly acidic, which is why we're going to be putting just the tiniest bit of sugar in there. And by the tiniest bit, I mean about a teaspoon. It'll help balance the flavor profiles of everything and keep it from just tasting like straight up tomatoes. Um, if this was in a pot, oh my god, if that pops on me one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Um, if this was in a big pot, I'd be using about a fourth of a cup, but since we're doing a flash sauce, uh, I'm using a teaspoon. You don't want a whole lot. It's not a sweet sauce by any means. The, the sugar is only in there to help balance the acidity. All right, we are going to get our tasting spoon, which will probably be the sugar one that I just used. We're going to taste it to see how it's doing. But it smells really good. I think if anything, I'm probably going to need a little bit more salt and pepper and um, a little bit more like of the just general seasonings. I'm going to take you off the heat so you don't pop me again. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going to dip my spoon in. Get back on the heat so it can continue to cook. Smells right. Whiskey hasn't cooked all the way out though, so I'm gonna bring the heat back up just a bit and vent this. There we go. That way, so that the alcohol can cook out. Yep, it needs more salt. A little bit more pepper. Actually, it tastes really good. Just needs a little sun. Now, I don't want to go too crazy with the salt because, again, the hot dogs are pretty salty. The whiskey in that is really good, though. My mother used to make this sauce. I think she would put in a little bit of brandy. I am not really a dark liquor person, so I'm maybe not the right person to uh, talk about the difference between the two. I think I would be doing somebody a horrible, horrible misjustice, Miss Justice, who's like, that's their job is to make this. But um, she would always put brandy in it, I think, or whatever dark liquor she had. And I remember the very first time I tried to make this sauce on my own, I called her and I was frantic and I was like, how do you make it taste like yours? And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, mine doesn't taste the way yours tastes. I want it to taste like home. And she was like, oh, well, did you put alcohol in it? And I was like, what? No. So she told me to grab just a dark liquor that I had and put alcohol in it. And I was like, oh, okay, I figured it out. I didn't figure it out. It was all my mom. Which, speaking of moms, happy Mother's Day to all the moms who are watching out here. I'm going to put just a little bit more of the basil, thyme, and oregano in here. Um, but I'm going to keep on talking. Uh, so, happy Mother's Day to all the moms who are watching. Um, my mother was going to come and be on the show with me, but uh, we're probably going to postpone that to another week because she went to go and see my super wonderful cousins, who I already gave a shout out to. Uh, she went to go see them graduate. I couldn't get off work in time, so I didn't go. I was really bummed about it. But she was there with them, so she's in college today. She's like three hours away. Um, so she couldn't be on the show, but that's okay. I'm going to hang out with her tomorrow. Um, 
me and Josh are gonna go over there, bring like a bottle of wine and some cheese for her because I know my mom. But mom, if you're watching, shout out to you. I learned how to cook from watching you cook. And now I cook. <laughs> you guys remember from the episode she came on, she's not really, like she'll cook, but she doesn't like to cook. But she'll do it. All right, let's give this a taste. Ooh, it's hot. Oh yeah, that tastes awesome. That's all I needed with more love. So another thing that we do when we cook this um, over a long period of time, like all day on the stove, is we'll do um, a couple bay leaves in here. But bay leaves are better for like long cooked things, not really flash cooked things because it helps infuse the flavor of it. All right, let's get these guys in here. Let's just, let's see how it do. Oh God, I've already made a mess. Okay, get, get your poor, poor spaghetti all tossed up. Hey, this was a pretty fast episode. I thought this would take a lot longer. Okay, Pinterest, maybe, maybe you've proved me wrong. Maybe you're not as terrible as I thought you were. The prep time is just a nightmare. But everything else is okay. It smells like my grandma's house. I'm into it. The only weird thing is that I'm seeing hot dogs in my sauce instead, <laughs> instead of like meatballs, but hey, whatever, it's fine. Now all that's left is to see if it tastes good. So the reason we're tossing our pasta in the sauce as opposed to just labeling sauce over the pasta is because one, it finishes cooking out the noodles. Um, and two, it helps uh, incorporate all the flavors in together. It's like the difference between like salting a steak beforehand or sprinkling salt on it afterwards. There, it's, it's a difference in how the flavors all work together. All right, this looks, this look, you know what? I'm not even disappointed. This looks like something I would find on Pinterest. It is something I found on Pinterest. So we've got, our beautiful sauce with just little hot dog bits. And from far away, and probably from a lower resolution, like what you guys are seeing, um, because my webcam is not high def, um, it probably looks like meatballs from far away. You could maybe even fool someone into thinking that that's what it is if you take like a really bad picture with a camera from like the 80s. But you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna play it and make it look good. I'm gonna plate it and try to make it look good. I'm just give it a nice little twist right there. Maybe grab some rogue pieces of hot dog. God, torn away. No, it's not gonna look pretty. I'll try it again. We'll give it a little twist. Maybe, maybe the asymmetry of the plating will make it look nicer. I was wrong. Well, here we go. It's our first Pinterest meal. It's spaghetti hot dogs. <laughs> At least the sauce is good. So you can impress your friends that way or your kids or your spouse or whoever, you can, or yourself or your dog. Um, so that's it for today's episode. It was nice and short flash sauce so if you guys ever want to uh make it again check out this episode or go to the website i post all of the oh i'm gonna turn off the heat um i post all the recipes and all of the the videos um ingredients list everything on the website it's kenkitchenlive.com try and keep everything nice and simple um if you like what you're seeing and you want to support the show you can go to patreon.com slash kenkitchenlive um there's a lot of cool rewards i'm gonna have swag coming out soon um and you can like hang out with me afterwards. And, um, oh, there are people in the chat. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil turns bottle upside down. Oh yeah, I ran out of olive oil, sorry. Um, uh, anyway, so uh, there's a lot of cool patron rewards you can check out at my Patreon page. And I also post everything to all social medias. We've got Facebook, 
uh, Instagram, Twitter. Um, all of it is King Kitchen Live. So go ahead, if you've made this, um, send me a picture of it on all those things. I'd love to see what you guys are up to. But that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week when we tackle Pinterest chicken nuggets. <laughs> Bye.